Praise the name of Jesus. Welcome, welcome po sa bawat isa po sa atin. And happy, happy Lord's Day para po sa araw po na ito sa bawat isa po sa atin. Course greeting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the one and only true God, no, our blessed hope. And welcome to Jesus Christ, One God, One Gospel uh, Church online service po natin ngayon. No? So, I'm Pastor Alvin, I'm Apostol, and I'm happy to be one of God's vessels para po sa ating pong lahat na maging blessing po to na mag-proclaim ng salita ng ating Panginoon, lalo na po na tayo po'y nabubuhay po dito sa tinatawag po ng mga huling araw. So, maatin po ang pagpapala at ang biyaya ng ating Diyos na buhay sa pasimula po na ito sa ating pagpapatuloy sa ikalawang bahagi. Pangalawang bahagi na po ito ng pagpapatuloy natin ng pag-aaral na may kaugnayan po dito po sa tinatawag po na Judgment Day, especially in particular uh, with the timeline na tinatalakay po natin which is uh, the Great White Throne Judgment. So, pasimula sa ay po'y manalangin at humingi po tayo muli ng patnubay sa ating Panginoon. Samahan po ninyo ako sa inyo po mga tahanan na tayo po ay manalangin sa ating Panginoon. Aming Ama, sa oras na ito, muli kaming lumalapit at nagpapasalamat para sa araw na ibinigay mo po sa amin upang muli namin, Lord, tuklasin, alamin, Panginoon, ang biyaya at ang kayamanan ng iyong banal na salita. Hiling at dalangin po namin, Diyos, abutin mo ang bawat isa sa mga nanonood, saan man sila naroon, whether they been using their uh, television screens or uh, whatever gadget that they may be using right now, cell phones, computers, Lord, padaluhin mo sa kanila, Lord, ang Spiritu Santo po ninyo. Let uh, your spirit of wisdom, the spirit of revelation, Lord, ang siyang uh, dumaloy sa kanila that they may understand and that they may know your perfect will from your word. Salamat po, Panginoon. Pagpalaan mo ang kabuan ng pag-aaral po namin ito. Maging ay yung abang lingkod, Panginoon. Ikaw po ang siyang manguna at gumamit sa kanya po ang mga labi, Panginoon. Gamitin mo lang siya, Panginoon, upang maging uh, uh, Daluyan ng pagpapala ng karunungan po ninyo na amin pong malaman, Panginoon, ang panahon po na ito ay tunay, Lord, na napakalapit na ng iyong pagbabalik. Salamat, Panginoon, sa iyo po, o Diyos, ang papuri at ang kaluwalatian. Patuloy namin iniling kayo maglinis din ang amin po mga puso upang nang sa ganon matamasa namin ang biyaya ng iyong salita. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. So let's get started po no uh, by uh, reading uh, the verses po no the our scriptural uh, text for today's study uh, taken in the book of Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 ito po ang pagkakasabi in NIB translations no Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 to 2 at the time uh, at the time Michael the great prince who protects your people will arise there will be a time of distress such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then. But at that time, your people, everyone whose name is found, written in the book, will be delivered. Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. And also in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, uh, sorry, chapter 20, I mean, Revelation chapter 20, verse 11, no? Uh, Mag-start tayo ng verse 4, and then after ng verse 4, uh, dere-derecho po, verse 5, verse 6, nyo? Ayan, pagkatapos mag-verse 11 po tayo. Revelation chapter uh, 20, verse 4, 5, 6, and then verse 11 to 15. Verse 4, I saw thrones on which were seated those who had been given authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony about Jesus because of the word of God. Oh. They had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life. Take note, verse 5, The rest of the dead did not come to life until, until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy are those who share in the first resurrection. The second death has no power over them, but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with Him for 
for a thousand years. And then verse 11, Then I saw a great white throne, and him who was seated on it, the, the earth and heavens fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. Verse 12, And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them. And each person was judged according to what they had done. Verse 14, The dead and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire, and the lake of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the, in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. Praise the name of Jesus. Purihin po ang ating Panginoon. Magandang magandang araw po sa bawat isa po at ang biyaya, pagpapala, kalakasan, ang pananampalataya. Buhat po sa ating Panginoon ang siyang mapa sa atin po. Para sa araw po na ito, of course, pati sa mga darating pang panahon. No? So, tayo po ngayon ay magpapatuloy. Last week po, uh, we discussed the first part. No? Ito po nga, clearing up uh, uh, the confusions about uh, the Judgment Day, yung pinaka part, part one po natin. And when we discussed uh, three important things. First, we, we discussed the three different judgment, no? which is the Judgment Seat of Christ or the Bima Judgment of Believers in Christ. And then also the Sheep Goat Judgment. And the next of that is, uh, which is yung pag sinabing sheep goat judgment, that is the judgment of the living nation uh, that will happen after the great tribulation. No? And then next is the great white throne judgment. And this will be the resurrection of the unbelieving or the wicked no? na tinatawag po no? ng Bible. No? And then after that, no, we move, uh, sumunod na tinalakay po natin, the five things we need to know about the judgment seat of Christ. No? And then lastly, the judgment seat of Christ is not at the great white throne judgment. Malino na malino po na atin pong napag-aralan po yung bagay po na yan. Pero bago po tayo lumali, muli sa pagpapaalala po sa atin ng ating Diyos na buhay na aking pong lagi nababanggit sa pasinimula rin ng serye po na ito, tandaan po natin ang maliligtas ay makakaunawa, ang makakaunawa ay maniniwala, ang maniniwala ay maghahanda at ang maghahanda ay mapapabilang sa mga mapapalad na sasalubong sa Panginoon sa Himpapawid. Praise the name of Jesus. So patuloy po tayo na mag-aral at uh, tumukla, sumiyasa ng salita ng ating Diyos ng buhay. So ito po ang ating pong tinalaki na po para sa kabuan ng uh, ng ating pong uh, pagtalakay po dito sa kabuuan po na ito ng serye po na ito no let's look about the sneak peek no of God's order of events no sneak peek of God's order of events no so we we talk about the church age ayan yung mga natalakay na natin the rapture of the church tribulation which is the seven years the battle of Armageddon the second coming of Jesus Christ and then uh, we discuss the sheep goat judgment na napumasok po diyan yung the 75 day hiatus po natin part 1 to 5 no and the millennial kingdom so far the longest uh, running mini series po natin sa pag-aaral po natin is yung messianic kingdom and then uh, itong uh, katatapos lang natin the second gog magog battle no And for the, today, no, at uh, nag-start po tayo nung last week, tinatalaki naman natin itong the Great White Throne Judgment and then we will move to the last and final no, timeline sa uh, biblical timeline that is the eternal state po. No? Let me show you, no, ito pong tinatawag po na pinaka-chart po nito. No? Ayan, I would like to show you. Ayan po yan. No? So, we started from the charge age. No? Ayan, no? yung sa mga nagnanais po mag-screenshot, screenshot nyo na po yan no? sa inyo pong mga uh, gadget po na ginagamit, computers or uh, cellphones. No? So, ayan po yung pinaka-timeline na tinatalakay po natin. At yan po, malinaw na malinaw na atin pong pinag-aralan kung atin pong iaayos, ibibigyan ng order po yung lahat-lahat ng yan. No? So, today, no, as we continue, uh, the subject po na ito, na clearing up the confusions about the Judgment Day, we're now on the part 2 for today. So, dito po ay ating tatalakayin po at uh, ibibigyan po natin ng linaw yung mga anak 
other misconceptions about the Judgment Day. And we will try to, uh, uh, to shed some uh, enlightenment or scriptural enlightenment by addressing uh, these questions. Like for example, no? Una po, ito po mga bagay po na to patungkol po rin sa the considerable number of uh, resurrection and judgment and then reconciling some conflicting passages about the resurrection. Alangan, alam ninyo, ma mahalaga. Napakahalaga po na ma-reconcile po natin ang salita ng Panginoon kasi po ito pong Bible po na to Hindi po natin to dapat pinag-uumpugan at ang ginagawa ng iba, pinag-aaway-aaway po. Verses sa verses, eh, parang gustong-gusto nila, tuwan-tuwa pa sila na parang uh, napapagsabong po nila, Bible sa Bible, oh, verses sa verses, gano'n ang ginagawa. Hindi eh, po ganyan ang pag-aaral po ng salita ng ating Panginoon. Ang ginagawa natin, nire-reconcile natin siya with one another. Yun ang totoong pag aral Pagka ang isang uh, mga ngaral, ang isang grupo, humahanap lang yan ng butas, eh hindi po yan eh, tama po, nag-gawain po. Butas ang hinahanap po eh. Maraming yung butas na makikita kung butas po, hahanapin po. No? Okay, so the question is, no, uh, what other churches always taught and believe about resurrection and judgment? No? What other church churches always taught and believe about resurrection and Judgment. You know, uh, uh, upon uh, answering these questions, makikita po natin ang bawat churches po iba-iba po eh. Kagaya po sa inyo, ma ma maari, perhaps, I believe, some of you may be watching right now and you are, uh, some of you are disagreeing with, with what I am teaching. Wala pong magagawa po doon sa party ito. Uh, there is always room for disagreement. Tandaan nyo po yan, nababanggit ko po yan. And, uh, Uh, kinakailangan po, maayos lang po natin i-handle po yung mga bagay po na yan. Hindi to the point na kung saan na parang uh, yung superiority ipakikita po ninyo. No? Wala pong problema po doon sa bagay po na yun. No? Lahat po tayo, may pagkakaiba po talaga. Ganun po talaga ang bawat isa po sa atin. No? So, like for example, no, ito po, pagdating sa aral po na ito about, uh, uh, about the teachings and belief no, about resurrection and judgment, ang bawat churches po iba-iba. Eh. Hindi po pare-parehas. Bakit ko po sinabi? Una, Everyone who had ever lived would be resurrected. So some churches taught or uh, believed that everyone who had lived would be resurrected at one time. Oh. Yan. Pero mga churches po, naniniwala sila, lahat po na i resurrect at one time. And all of us, ibig sabihin, lahat po tayo, the just and the unjust, would be judged at the same time. Yan oh. ang paniniwala po ng iba. Sama-sama, nahahatulan, isang, isang, isang hatulan na lang, isang pangyayari, one-time event lang, ika nga nila. And another thing na tinuturo naman ng iba, the sheep would be separated from the goats at the great white throne judgment pictured uh, as pictured no in revelation chapter 20 verse 11 to 15 no eh ito po ang pinaniniwalaan naman ng iba na parang pagdating daw ng judgment day pipila lahat ng mga tao na binuhay at pagkatapos isa lalagay sa kaliwa lalagay naman sa kanan ganoon ang pagkakaunawa po ng iba eh. pero makikita po natin yung bagay po na yun Uh, this concept is all wrong. Mali po itong lahat-lahat ng ito because the Bible reveals that there will be more than one resurrection and more than one judgment. Yan ang inireveal. Yan ang itinahayag ng salita ng ating Panginoon. Klaro po yan. Malino po yan dito. So, titignan po natin at ating bubusisiin sa mga oras na ito ang lahat-lahat ng yan. Medyo pipilitin ko po mapaigsi po ito. But, uh, gagawin po natin ang lahat para maayos natin at para huwag kayong maini. Pero, of course, siyempre, alam ko po, excited ang bawat isa po sa atin. Ang sarap pag-aralan ng salita ng ating Panginoon. So, let's talk about first, understanding numerous resurrection. Understanding numerous resurrection. Okay, so tignan po natin maigi po ito, no? So, wag po muna kayong humatol. Wag kayong mabilis na humatol sa akin sa mga oras po na ito. Do not be quick to judge without hearing my full explanation. Let me repeat that, no? Don't be quick, oh, don't be too quick to judge without hearing my full explanations. Okay, so let's talk about the book of Revelation talks about two resurrection. Let me repeat that again. No? The book of Revelation talks about two resurrection. Yes, 
the book of Revelation mention, no? may binabanggit po ang book of Revelation na dalawa po na resurrection. Okay, tignan po natin. Ha? Hulitin ko po uli. Ha? Iigihan natin. Gagawin ko ang lahat ng akin pong makakaya para maintindihan po no ng kahit na sino po ang ating pag-aaral para sa araw po na ito. Kung may kinakailangan pa ulit-ulitin, gagawin ko po yan. Maintindihan nyo lang po para mailayo po tayo sa espiritu po ng kamalian. Let's read this in the book of Revelation chapter 20 verse 4 and verse 12. This is what the Bible mentioned. Tignan po ninyo. I saw thrones on which were uh, uh, on which were seated those who had been given authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony about Jesus and because of the word of God. They had not, they had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life they came to life and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Yun ang sabi ko. They came to life, meaning they, they were resurrected no, to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Ang ganda po, no? yan yung mga na-resurrect. Naghari kasama ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. And in verse 12, and I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. So, makikita po natin dito, in the book of Revelation, may binabanggit po, ito yung resurrection na una, o yung binabanggit po, no? na, nag-resurrect po, yung tinatawag po na mga, uh, yung uh, tri uh, tribulation saints or martyrs po na ito, no? At pagkatapos po ron, ay uh, sumunod naman, ito pong uh, verse 12, ito namang resurrection po, nung tinatawag po ng mga, ng mga wicked no? or uh, unrighteous or unbelieving po na tinatawag. Now concerning resurrection, si Jesus Christ mismo nagturo rin po, dalawa po ang resurrection ay tinuturo po ng ating Panginoon. Ulitin ko po ulit ha. Ah. Dalawa ang itinuturo. When you say two, the resurrection of course. Ito po ang sabi niya pong gano'n. The resurrection of life and the resurrection of judgment. Uh, John chapter 5 verse 28 to 29. Ito po ang pagkakasabi po. John chapter 5 verse 28 and 29. Do not marvel at this. For an hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice. Yun, sabi ng Panginoon. And will come forth. And those who did the good deeds, those who did the good deeds to a resurrection of life. And those who committed the evil deeds to a resurrection of judgment. Iyan ang sinasabi po ng ating Panginoon. So, makikita nyo kahit ang Panginoon, dalawa po, resurrection to life or resurrection of life. And the next is the resurrection of judgment. Dalawa po, resurrection of life, no? And resurrection of judgment. Now, kahit po si Apostol Pablo, ganun din, pinagtibay din po ni Apostol Pablo. Ito po, uh, itinuro po na ito ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. Of course, hindi po pwedeng sumalungat si Apostol Pablo sa turo at aral ng ating Panginoon. Marami po kasi ang gusto salungatan ng salungatan sa mga aral. Hindi po dapat kinakailangan nagre-reconcile po ang bawat isa po sa aral ng salita ng ating Panginoon. So, let's take a look at this. No? In Acts chapter 24, verse 15, this is what the po... Uh, uh, Paul mentioned uh, when he confirmed this concept uh, in his defense before Felix. No, ito pong sabi niya pong ganun in verse 15. And I have the same hope in God as these men themselves have that there will be a resurrection of both the righteous and the wicked. Take note. I have the same hope in uh, in God as these men themselves have that there will be a resurrection of both the righteous, both the righteous and the wicked. Yun, binabanggit po ni Apostol Pablo. Again, binanggit niya rito, resurrection of the righteous and the wicked. So, dalawa po yan. No? So, makikita po natin, malino na malino that the Bible clearly teaches that there will be more than two resurrection. Ito po, ang gusto ko pong linawin po rito. Medyo kapit lang po kayo ng konti, ha? Kasi marami pong naguguluhan pagdating po dito at hindi po nila ma-reconcile. Masyadong uh, naguguluhan. Kumbaga po sa sa kanila po, yung, yung kanila pong mga utak po, ang nangyayari po, nakukulot po yung utak nila. Pagdating po dito po sa bagay na to, oh, okay, linawin po natin. 
Even though sinasabi po yan na that, that there will be the resurrection of the righteous and the wicked, resurrection of life and uh, uh, to judgment, pero makikita po niyo, but the Bible clearly teaches that there will be more than to resurrection. Okay, ano po yan? There will be a resurrection of church age, no? Church age saints, o oh, yung mga na rapture po yan, no? At the time of uh, at, at the time of rapture before tribulation begins. And then second, at the end of tribulation, eto po, at the end of tribulation, linawin po niyo maigi po yan, at the end of the uh, of the tribulation, Old Testament saints, eto na, Old Testament saints, ayan, praise the name of Jesus, and tribulation saints or martyrs will be resurrected, and then susunod, and finally, eto na po, All the unjust, eh, sunod na po yan, no? lahat na po ng unjust, when you say unjust, unrighteous, uh, wicked, who have ever lived and died outside the faith, uh, relationship with God will be resurrected at the end of the millennium. So, malinaw na malinaw po yan. Okay, lilinawin ko po ulit. No? Una po, no? malinaw na malinaw na sinasabi. First, that there will be a resurrection. No? Uh, resurrection of the church age uh, saints. Meaning, yung mga raptured saints po yan. Yan po yung una. No? And then, susunod, uh, definitely, because uh, pre-trib po ako eh. I believe in uh, pre-trib. Wala pong masama po. Rong kinakailangan may uh, tinatayo. Yung iba, naniniwala po sa inyo. Perhaps, naniniwala po yung iba sa mid-trib. Gusto po nila yun eh. Sa kalagitnaan po sila kukunin ng ating Panginoon. Wala po tayong magagawa doon sa bagay na. Lalo naman yung iba ay sobrang haba ng pagtitiis. Gusto nila, post-trib sila. Na at the end of the tribulation, tsaka po sila kukunin ng ating Panginoon. Wala pong problema. There is always a room, no, uh, for this, uh, uh, this agreement, no? Dito po sa atin pong pag-aaral po. Na, wala pong problema. Kung gusto nyo po, mid-trip, gusto nyo, doon kayo kukunin ng Panginoon. Wala pong problema po rin. Sa bagay po na yon. So, ito, nililinaw lang po natin. Una, ito nga, yung resurrection ng, uh, ng uh, Church Age Saints. Pagkatapos, pangalawa, at the end of the tribulation, pag natapos po yung tribulation, lahat ng Old Testament saints, no? At pati yung tribulation saints, yung mga napugutan ng ulo po na nag they will be resurrected, no? According po in the book of Daniel, no, chapter 12, verse 1 to 2, and Revelation chapter 20, verse 4, no. And finally, ito po ng tinatawag na resurrection of the wicked. Now, eto ang pinakamaganda po, understanding and reconciling conflicting passages about the two resurrection. Okay, let me repeat that, no. Understanding and reconciling conflicting passages about the two Resurrection. So, ito maganda po rito. Pag-aralan po natin, tignan po natin na ayon po sa salita ng ating Panginoon. Ulitin ko po ulit, ah. titignan po natin siya ayon po sa salita at aral ng ating Panginoon. Okay. Una po sa lahat, gusto ko pong linawin po sa inyo pong lahat ng mga tagapanood. For those of you who are watching right now, whether uh, you're a non-Christian, lalo na po sa mga mananampalataya, Christian. So, I would like to address, address this, uh, this point, no? about to or to all Christians, to all believers and body of Christ. First and foremost, as Christians, it is our ultimate goal and duty to reconcile the entire passages of the scriptures with all the rest. Yes, it is our duty as a Christian. No? It is our duty, our ultimate goal no? to reconcile the entire passages of the scriptures. Yan ang kinakailangan po na gawin po natin. Alam nyo kung bakit po nakakalungkot kapag minsan kita nyo, Christian sa Christian, na nangyayari, may verse siyang hawak, may verse din to. E sila ngayon mag-aaway na mag-aaway, nagkaka-persona lang pa. Hindi dapat na ganun. Eh. Ang gagawin dapat, kinakailangan i-reconcile ng bawat isa. Pa, paano ba natin mare-reconcile itong scriptures na to Yun ang pinakamaganda po na gagawin po natin. You know why? Because, let me share this with you, no? Ito po, nababanggit ko po ito sa lahat ng mga nakakausap ko, lalo na yung mga mahilig po sa mga debate-debate. Meron po kasi mga magagaling po dyan, eh. Okay. Eh, sa akin po, hindi po ako naniniwala na epektibo po ang pagdidebate dahil yan, eh, isang verses lang, eh, ipapakita at pagkatapos, magkakagirian na po. Hindi po ganun po ang aral po ng salita ng ating Panginoon. I want you to understand this, that it is a diabolical way or satanic way to pervert distort, corrupt, and twist the word of God. It is evident in Genesis chapter 3 and Matthew chapter 4, Christians should not use 
a scripture to attack another scriptures. Oh. Yes. Yan ang pinakagusto kong linawin po. We should not use the scriptures. We should not use the Bible. The Bible verse, no? To attack another scripture. Yan po kasi ang ginagawa ng iba eh. Minsan, binibigyan po ng linaw sa kanila. Pero ang gagawin, hindi pa po na ipapaliwanag. Ayaw pakinggan yung paliwanag. So, ano nangyayari? Hindi pa natatapos yung pagpapaliwanag. Merong kagad na bagong tanong. Eh, hindi niya naman kumbaga sa pagkain ninumuya yung tinatawag na pagpapaliwanag paano mo mauunawaan maintindihan yung bagay po na yan so kaya kita nyo ako sinasabi ko po balikan nyo yung mga ganitong aral dito sa amin sa ating uh, youtube channel po na ito para maintindihan nyo kapag ka po ganyan so although the, the, there might be or seemingly conflicting passages that present a problem of a reconciliation, but still, it is our duty and responsibility. Listen to this. It is our, not only responsibility, our ultimate goal and duty, no? To reconcile the entire passages of, of the scriptures with all the rest. Yan ang dapat na ginagawa po natin. So, ngayon, ang question, eto po, regarding resurrection, maganda po ito. Ready na po kayo. Handa po ninyo. Ang ganda po nito. My question is this, no? How How can the promise of two resurrections be reconciled with the depiction of three? How can the promise of two resurrections be reconciled with the depiction of three? Okay, yan, magandang tal. Paano nga naman, Pastor, sabi mo kanina, nung umpisa, pinan pinanindigan mo, sinabi mo, dalawa lang ang resurrection. Eh, pagkatapos ngayon, lalabas na naman, eh, parang tatlo na lumalabas po siya. Ano ba talaga? Dalawa ba? O tatlo? Yan ang tanong po ng marami po, no? Kaya naguguluhan po. Actually, ano, kung pag-aaralan po ninyo, eh, simpleng-simple lang naman po ang solusyon para po dito, no? Uh, it seems na malino na malino pag sa Bible po, no? Eto po, ah, para maintindihan po nyo. When the Bible speaks of two resurrection, it is speaking of two in kind. Two in kind. Not two in number. Yun ang sinasabi po. So, pag sinasabi po ng Biblia na meron pong two resurrection, ang ibig po sabihin, tumutukoy po siya sa dalawang klase. Pag sinabing dalawang klase, dalawang uri. No? Ibig po sabihin, hindi po dalawa sa bilang. Yung iba kasi ginawang dalawa sa bilang, kaya nalilito, na, naguguluhan tuloy. Hindi nila ma-reconcile, ma reconcile. reconcile. Uh, confusion ang i-create po niyan. In other words, ito po ang sinasabi lang po niyan. The Bible does not teach one resurrection or even two resurrection in number. Ulitin ko po, the Bible does not, does not, oh. does not teach one resurrection or even two resurrections in number. Yun ang siyang malinaw po do sa bagay po na yan. Kung, kung hindi itinuturo ng Biblia yung uh, two resurrections in number, eh ano ngayon? Ito po ang itinuturo ng Biblia. Rather, it teaches, eto po, that there will be two resurrections in type, ayan na, two resurrections in type, which will be conducted in stages. Iyan ang sinasabi po. It will be conducted in stages. Ano po mangyayari? Resulting in several resurrection, at least four to be specific. Grabe. Oh. Ang tindi po nito, mga, mga, mga ginigili ko ng mga kapatid sa Panginoon, mga taga-subaybay po natin, lumalabas pala. Kung kaapag-aralan natin, specifically, eh lalabas apat ang tinatawag po na resurrection na ito. Okay, tignan po natin maigi. Okay, let's move to the next. From first advent to second advent. From first advent to second advent. Advent. Definitely, when we say the first Advent, that is, this is the first coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yan yung mag-incarnate po siya. No? So, for those of you who wanted to learn more about the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ, I am encouraging you to watch our uh, Christmas trilogy po na, gina, na uh, nandito po yan sa aming pong YouTube channel. Panoorin nyo po yan. Napakaganda po. No? Uh, nung uh, ginawa po yan nung, uh, some 24, 25, no? at pati po yung uh, uh, sumunod po natin at uh, December 2020 24 and 25. Yan po yung trilogy po namin na yan. Okay. So, panoorin nyo na lang. Maganda po. It, it talks about the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ or about the first advent of our Lord 
Jesus Christ. Now, the second advent, of course, yun yung sa kanyang second coming na tinatawag. Now, the Bible mentioned, uh, Paul uh, taught this in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 23, in New King James Version. Ito po ang sabi pong ganun. But each one in his own order. Each one in his own order. Christ, the first fruits, afterward, those who are Christ at His coming. Ayun, may susunod eh. May susunod sa ating Panginoon. Ang Panginoon ang una at pagkatapos susunod yung, uh, yung, uh, sa, uh, yung sa pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon. Now, paano natin maintindihan po itong bagay? Anong pinakasusi para maintindihan po natin? Now, the key to understanding para po dito po, it will be similar to the stages of a Jewish harvest. Okay, ito po ang sinasabi po. Ayan ang susi. Ah. The key to understanding It will be similar to the stages of a Jewish harvest. Okay, yan po yan. Ano ang ibig po sabihin? Ang pinakasusi, mga ginigilo kong kapatid, kaibigan, no, sa atin pong lahat ng mga taga-subaybay po. Ang susi para maintindihan po natin, ito pong stages. Take note, ha? sabihin nyo po sa mga katabi po ninyo, stages. Ayan. Stages of resurrection. Kinakailangan masabi nyo, stages. Of resurrection. Kailangan mabanggit nyo po yan. Stages of resurrection. Now, the resurrection of the unjust, okay, pag sinabing unjust, wicked, of the, or the unbelieving, the resurrection of the unbelieving and unrighteous will occur at all, uh, will occur all at one time at the end of the millennium. Ibig po sabihin, yung resurrection ng mga wicked, ng mga unbelieving, ng mga unrighteous, ng mga unjust, no? ito po magaganap sa huli po at the end, huling-huli, at the end of the millennium. Okay, pagkatapos po ng 1,000 years sa pag-aari ng ating Panginoon, dun po magaganap yan, no? to, to, uh, to, to make it short. No? And then susunod, the resurrection of the just or the righteous, eto po, the resurrection of the just will occur in stages. Yan! It will happen in stages. And the stages, eto na po, will correspond with the three stages of Uh, of a Jewish harvest, the first fruits, ayan, followed by the general harvest and concluded with the gleanings. Okay, ano ibig po sabihin? Para maintindihan nyo po, eto po yan, okay. Lilinawin po natin maigi. Una, ang sabi po, para maunawaan po natin, ito po ay may pagkakahalintulad dun po sa stages po ng Jewish harvest. Take note ha, Jewish harvest. Okay, so ngayon, ito po yan para maintindihan po natin yung sinasabi. Una, Jesus was the first fruit. Ayan, Jesus was the first fruits. No? Siya po yung unang-unang bunga po sa lahat-lahat. Jesus was the first fruits. No? Ito po. No, ang binabanggit po, Jesus was the first fruit, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 23. Ito po ang pagkakasabi po, malinaw po 'yan ha? But each one in his own order. Ba, intindihan mo niyo po ha? But each one in his own order. Christ the first fruits, no? Afterward, ito na, afterward pagkatapos niya, those who are Christ at his coming. Iyon ang sinasabi po, no? Those who are Christ at his coming. Ito pa, next translation po. The same verse, the same chapter, no? But in New Living Translation. Ito ang sabi po gano'n. But there is an order to this resurrection. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. But there is an order to this resurrection. Meron pong order talaga eh. Itong sinasabi ko na po. Na sinasabi po ni Pablo, Christ was raised as the first of the harvest. Ang linaw niyan, mga ginigilin kong kapatid, kaibigan, mga kapananampala Taya. Christ was raised as the first of the harvest. Then, all who belong to Christ, susunod, then all who belong to Christ ayan, will be raised when He when He comes back. Praise the name of Jesus. Napakalinaw po. And also, in expanded Bible translation, ito po, no? same verse, same chapter, no? uh, ito po, uh, same book, 
1 Corinthians 15.23, but everyone, when you say everyone, each, but everyone will uh, will be raised to life in the right order. Ayan. They will be raised to life in the right order. O talaga namang may, may kaayusan. Huwag niyong guluhin eh. Okay, ano ba yung kaayusan? Ito po, yung order. Ito yung pagkakasunod-sunod. Ayan. Christ was first to be raised, meaning the first fruits, And when Christ comes again, those who belong to Him will be raised to life. So, lumalabas po, ito po yung tinatawag, Jesus Christ was the first fruit. Ayan ang malinaw na malinaw po. Ah. Jesus Christ was the first fruit. Now, susunod po, meron pong tinatawag po na the general harvest. Okay. Now, the general harvest will occur at the rapture. Ayan! Ako, grabe. Ganda. Sana lumili ito na lalo po sa inyo ito. Ah. The general harvest will occur at the rapture when the church age saints will be resurrected and the living saints will be translated. Ayan. At susunod po yung the gleanings na tinatawag. And the gleanings will happen. It will occur at the end of the tribulation. At the end of the tribulation, kailan po yun? At the second coming of Jesus. That is when the Old Testament saints and tribulation saints martyrs will be resurrected. Okay. So, yan po yan. Ganyang kalino po yan. At para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan at maunawaan. Let's understand better the three stages of Jewish harvest. Or understanding better the three stages of a Jewish harvest. Okay. Gusto ko ipakita po sa inyo. Ito po. I, I have made a chart para po makita nyo po ito nga. Itong bagay po. I would like to show you. Direct pakita natin nga sa kanila itong chart natin na ito. No? Okay. Yan po yan, no? The stage 1 is stage 2 and stage 3. The stage uh, the stage 1, of course, yung first fruit, that is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The stage 2 is the general harvest, no? And then that's, that is the resurrection and translation of the church, no? And then the stage 3, gleanings na tinatawag, the resurrection of the tribulation saints, and the Old Testament saints. So, makikita nyo, all of them, nakakover dun sa, uh, sa taas, oh, the resurrection of the righteous, or what we call, as, un uh, as understand, the first resurrection. Yan po yan. So, the gathering of the first fruits, ayan, yan po, yung uh, first, no, na dapat maintindihan, the gathering of the first fruits. First fruits, I'm sorry, no? Okay. Uh, you know, in the Bible, in the Bible times, the, the harvest war was conducted in uh, three uh, different st uh, stages, no? So, nag-umpisa po ito, it began with the gathering of the first fruit, ayan, which is yung first fruit po na yan, it, 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 uh, which were offered as a sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. So, ayan po yan, inaalay po yan, yung first, uh, first fruit po na yan, inaalay po yan, bilang handog, bilang alay, pasasalamat sa ating Panginoon. Pagkatapos po, no, yan yung, unang, yung unang harvest, eh, alay yun sa Diyos. Eh. Yung, unang al yung unang harvest, yung unang-unang ani po na yan, iaalay po yan sa ating Panginoon. Susunod po, may tinatawag po na general harvest. No? So, itong general po, it proceeded with the general harvest. No? Pero, during this general harvest, listen to this, I want you to understand this. No? Hindi po lahat kinukuha. Ibig sabihin, nagkaroon na ng general harvest, hindi uubusin yung lahat ng uh, nandun na po pwedeng anihin po. Because, yung pangatlo po, some of the crops will be left in the field to be gathered by the poor and the needy. At ang tawag po ron, this was called the gleanings. Ayan. As is stated in Leviticus chapter uh, 19, verse 9 and 10. Ito po, basahin po natin. Leviticus chapter 19, Verse 9 and 10 in New Century Version. Ito po ang pagkakasabi po. When you harvest your crops on your land, do not harvest all the way to the corners of your field. Oh. If your grain falls on, to, uh, on the ground, pag may na, nahulog sa inanin ninyo, don't gather it up. Huwag mo nang pulutin yun. Don't pick all the grapes in your vineyard. Huwag niyong ubusin, lanusin yung anin niyan. And don't pick up the grapes that fall to the ground you must leave those uh, things for poor people and for people traveling through your country. I am the Lord your God. Oh. Yun ang sinasabi po. So, malinaw na malinaw po. So, 
in uh, in 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 other words, mahalaga po itong tatlong uh, harvest po na ito, the three stages po na ito, the first fruits, no? At pagkatapos the general harvest at pangatlo po, yung tinatawag na the gleanings po na yan. Now, explaining with simplicity the similes of the three stages of a Jewish harvest. Explaining with simplicity, ayan, with simplicity, the similes of the three stages of a Jewish harvest. Okay, so pakikita ko po ulit sa inyo itong chart po na ito, ha, para maindi, direct pakipakita natin sa kanila. Stage 1, 2, 3, first fruit, stage 1, stage 2, general harvest, stage 3, the gleanings, no? Yan po ang sinasabi po dyan gano'n, no? Now, dahil po yan, yung three stages of Jewish harvest po na at napakahalaga na maintindihan po natin yan sapagat dyan po natin ay halintulad para wag kayong malito at para wag po kayo na uh, maguluhan doon sa bagay po na yan. Naalala ko nga po, no, pagdating po rito, sabi nga po ni Albert Einstein, meron po siya, let me quote this, no? Sabi ni Einstein, when the solution is simple, God is answering. Ay, ang ganda nga naman. Praise the name of Jesus. When the solution is simple, God is answering. O, biro ninyo eh. Pagka nga naman eh, simpleng-simple na nga naman yung solution, sumasagot na ang Panginoon. Pero eto po, tandaan nyo rin, sa kanya rin po, ano? Another quote, uh, quotations from uh, Albert Einstein din. Ito ang sabi niya pong ganon. If you can explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. Yun ang mabigat po rin. If you can explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. Ano ang ibig po sabihin? Eh, totoo po yan. Alam po niyo, yan ang pinakamaganda po at ma malinaw na para maintindihan po natin na tayo mismo naintindihan at naunawaan natin pag naipaliwanag mo yan sa anim na taon na bata. Ibig sabihin, Maun, mauunawaan na, mauunawaan niya yon at pag naunawaan niya yon eh ikaw mismo naunawaan mo yung bagay po simple simple pag sinabi po Jewish harvest three stages of Jewish uh, Jewish harvest tatlo yan pag sinabi three stages no ano ano yung stages na yon okay tandaan niyo ha okay una first fruit ayan pangalawa after ng first fruit the general harvest ayan at pangatlo po yung tinatawag na the gleanings na tinatawag okay malino po yun so pag tinanong niyo uli okay children ano po yung three stages of Jewish harvest number one, first fruit susunod pangalawa yung tinatawag na The General Harvest. Oh, yung pangatlo, ano ba? The Gleaning. Oh, eh de, naintindihan. Yun ang ibig po sabihin po, no, no? So, ito po ang sinasabi. Now, the Bible present the resurrection of Jesus Christ as the first fruits, no? Of the resurrection of the righteous. Definitely. E firstborn sa nga, kung tawagin po sa pag sinabing firstborn, lahat ng mga first mangyayari po sa kanya. Kaya the Bible presents the resurrection of Jesus as the first fruits of the resurrection. Kasi siya yung kauna-unang na-resurrect. Kaya makikita nyo, siya po yung una. Okay. Now, pangalawa, the gathering of the church aid saints. Ito na, yung rapture. The living and the dead. Ito na, rapture po ito. Wow! Woo! 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 Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The rapture is the gathering of the church and saints, living and dead, at the appearing of the Lord. Kaya alam mo, sa rapture, is thus the general harvest stage of the resurrection of the righteous. No? Yan yung binabanggit po. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18. No? Now, meron pong third stage, but the third stage and the final stage of this resurrection of the righteous, eto po, it is the gleanings. No? And it occurs at the end of the tribulation, it occurs or it will happen at the end of the tribulation when the Lord... Second coming takes place. Ayan, praise the name of Jesus. So, so at that time, two final groups. No, yung pang sa last na yon, two final groups of the righteous will be resurrected. Eto na dalawa po yung mare resurrect yan. Dusa dagdining po nyan. Two final groups. Oh, ulitin ko po le. Two 
final groups will be resurrected at that time of the gleaning po na yan na tinatawag, no? Yung final stage ng resurrection. Sino-sino po yun? Una, yung tinatawag po na the tribulation saints, no? Or martyrs of Revelation chapter 20 verse 4. Ito po, basahin natin. And I saw the thrones which were seated these who had been given authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded. I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded. Napugutan ng ulo. Ayan. Because of their testimony about Jesus and because of the word of God, they had not worshipped the beast or the, its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or with their, with their, uh, or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Yan ang sinasabi pong ganon. Okay, so yan po yung una, the tribulation uh, saints na tinatawag or martyrs, yung mga napugutan. Yan yung dalawa, da, da, dalawang uh, uh, final group no dito po sa tinatawag na final resurrection po na to, final stage ng resurrection. First is the tribulation saints and then susunod po is the Old Testament saints. Praise the Lord! Praise the name of Jesus! The Old Testament saints. Daniel chapter 12 verse 2. Ito po ang pagkakasabi po. Multitudes who are asleep in the dust of the earth will awake, will awake. Multitudes. Yan ang sabi po ganun eh. Okay. Yung, paano mangyayari ito? Ito na. Some to everlasting life. Ayan. Some to everlasting life. And uh, others to shame and everlasting contempt. Ayan ang sinasabi po sa atin. So, kaya sa atin po, ulitin ko, no? Uh, let me show you again. Ito pong three stages of Jewish harvest po din. Yan po yan. Ma malinaw na malinaw po yan, kapatid kaibigan. Wala pong kaduda-duda po dyan. Makikita nyo yung first advent. Na, of course, nandun yung first fruit na nangyari po sa ating Panginoon. Si stage 2, the general harvest, which is resurrection and translation of the church. Eh, yung po, yan na po yan. At ano pa po? Yung stage 3, yung gleanings, which is in resurrection resurrection of the tribulation saints and the old testament saints napakalinaw kapatid kaibigan grabe wala na pong lilinaw po do sa bagay po na yan. now i want you to understand this no let me be clear on this that the rapture the promise of rapture is for church age only let me repeat that again the promise of rapture is for church age only praise god hallelujah Para lamang po yan sa church age, no? para maintindihan nyo po yan. No? Marami po mga tao ang hindi po uh, 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 nasa shock o naguguluhan pagdating po rito na hindi nila halos maisip na bakit ganon yung Old Testament saint na ito, eh hindi sila makakasama. Kinakailangan mag-antay pa at the end of the tribulation para sila ay mabuhay na muli. But I want you to understand this. Let me repeat this again. The, the, the promise of rapture, the promise uh, of rapture, the rapture is a promise, no? Para kanino? To the church. Ayan, to the church. And church only. The promise of rapture, ito po, ano? Is for church age only. Meaning, sa kanila lamang po yan. Malinaw na malinaw na sinasabi. And when you say for church age only, ibig po sabihin, it means that no Old Testament saints will be included in that glorious event. Bakit ko po sinabi? I will explain that and I will show you again another chart para maintindihan nyo po yung bagay po na yan. Ito po, no? Tignan nyo po, ayan, sa, sa inyong baba po. The rapture is for church age only. Praise God, no? As is stated in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18. So, ibig po sabihin, during the time of the cross, no? During the time of the cross, after the cross, no? Up to the rapture, yung cover lang po ron ang siyang mapapabilang po dyan. Hindi po po pwedeng sumama po dyan kahit na sino po. Kahit si Abraham, derecho po. Kahit si David, hindi po pwedeng sumama po dyan. Kahit po si Prophet Elisha, hindi makakasama po dyan. Kahit po si Prophet Daniel, na kung saan tinawag ng ating Panginoon, beloved ng ating Diyos na buhay. Tandaan nyo po, because they belong to the different dispensation time at yung promise po na yun, hindi po para po sa kanila. In fact, malino na malino in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 and 17, sinasabi po, dead in Christ, dead in Christ first, yun ang une. Ang qualification po, dead in Christ, namatay kay Kristo. And pangalawa, pakibalik mo nga direct, those who are alive and remain, yun ang sinasabi. So yung first batch, those who are dead in Christ, yan po yung una. And then the second batch, alive and remain. Ulitin ko po ulit, no Old Testament saints will take part in this glorious 
Even, bakit ko po sinabi, Daniel chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, ito po ang pagkakasabi po, grabe, sarap pag-aralan ng salita ng Diyos na buhay. Woo! Thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord! Daniel chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, at that time, Michael, the great prince who protects your people, will arise. And there will be a time of distress such as that had happened from the beginning of nations until then. But at that time, your people, everyone whose name is found, written in the book, will be delivered. Multitudes of you who are in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting Content. Praise the name of Jesus. Yan ang sinasabi po. Now, papano natin malalaman? Eh, kahit nga po si Daniel, sinabi na po sa kanya. Ito po ang sabi po, ang kapahayagan. In Daniel chapter 12, verse 13, As for you, go your way. Ikaw, Daniel, go your way till the end. Till the end. You will rest. Ayun, sinabi na, mapapahinga ka. Ibig sabi, ma ma matetegi ka. And then, ito na, At the end of the days, you will rise. You will rise to receive your allotted inheritance. Yan ang sinasabi pong ganun. So, the first resurrection, the resurrection of the righteous, occurs in three stages, beginning with Christ. Nag-umpisa po yan sa ating Panginoon, which is the first fruit, and then susunod nga yung tinatawag po na the general harvest, which is yung nga tinatawag sa church age po, yung mga na mararapture po, mga raptured saints. Those who are dead in Christ and alive and remain in Christ. At pagkatapos po, suling gulit, the gleanings po, doon na po yung mga Old Testament si sila David po. Kaya panoorin nyo po para maunawaan nyo po. Ito pong tinatawag na 75-day hiatus na subject po namin dito sa YouTube channel po na ito. Panoorin nyo. Nandun po yan, doon sila i-re-resurrect bago po masok po doon sa tinatawag na Millennial Kingdom or Messianic Kingdom. Kasama ron, pati mga napugutan ng ulo. Kaya hindi na po sa, sana po, naintindihan nyo at sana po, naging malino po yan sa inyo pong lahat. Now, let's take a, uh, uh, let's talk about the resurrection of the unbelieving and unrighteous. The resurrection of unbelieving and unrighteous. Acts chapter 24 verse 15, the Bible mentioned, and I have the same hope in God as these men themselves have, that there will be resurrection both the righteous and The wicked, yan ang sabi pong gano'n, in Revelation chapter 20 verse 12, And I saw, and I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were open. Another book was open, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. Now, talking about this uh, resurrection of uh, the unbelieving and unrighteous, this, is, this event will be a one-time, big-time resurrection of The wicked. The one-time, big-time resurrection of the wicked. Bakit ko po sinabi? Because this second type of resurrection, second type, ha? because the first type, yung una sa, sa righteous, no? The second type of resurrection, the resurrection of the wicked, as stated uh, in Acts 24.15, will take place all at one, all at one time, oh. at the end of the millennial uh, reign of Jesus Christ. So, so, this is the time na kung saan kung tawagin po ito the great white throne judgment. No? The judgment of the damned. The, the judgment of those who were condemned, already condemned. Bakit po? Because lahat ng tao po, makinig po tayo maigi sa inyo pong lahat na nanonood sa mga pagkakataong ito. Tandaan po niyo, lahat ng tao po na hindi po kumilala sa ating Panginoon, mga tao na tumanggi po dito po sa mabuting balita po na ito, tumanggi po sa gospel no, na makapagliligtas po sa atin, tumangging maniwala, tumangging sumunod sa gospel ng ating Panginoon. Tandaan po niyo, kayo pong lahat na naririto ng na mga nanonood sa oras na ito, kung ayaw ninyong maniwala at tanggapin ang mabuting balita ng ating Panginoon. Regardless kung kan, papano ka namatay, anong klase ka na, na namatay po na yan, no, tandaan po niya, darating at darating ang panahon, ikaw ay bubuhayin. Pero, ito po'y mangyayari po yan. No, tandaan po niyo, ito po'y mangyayari at the end of the millennial reign of Jesus Christ. And this resurrection will also include and just who died during the tribulation and the millennium. So, sama-sama po na yan. Kaya one time, big time po yan. Lahat ng mga ano po, lahat ng mga tinatawag po ng mga unjust, unbelieving, wicked sa harap ng ating Panginoon, even during the time ng tribulation, at pati po yung tinatawag during the time ng millennium, 
Millennial Kingdom kasi nga sabi ko nga sa inyo kapag ka po sumuway, tegi po agad po 'yon, no? Wala na po, wala na po ng uh, tinatawag na mga Court of Appeals, Court of Appeals during the Millennial Kingdom. Maganda po yung paksa po na yun para mas maintindihan po natin, no? So, there will be no need for another or additional resurrection of the righteous at the end of the millennium kasi nakumpleto na nga po yung three stages po na 'yon, no? So, da, sa atin pong lahat na naririto, dililinaw po sa atin Malino na malino na binabanggit po eh kapag ka po ito tignan po ninyo sa paghahari ng ating pang in the book of Isaiah chapter 65 verse 19 to 20 ito po ang pagkakasabi and I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people and the voice of uh, weeping shall be no, no more heard in her nor the voice of crying there shall be no more uh, dance uh, 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 an infant of days nor an old man that had not till these days For the child shall die an hundred years old, but the sinner being an hundred years old shall be a curse. Yan ang sabi pong ganun. And Isaiah chapter 65, verse 22 and 25. Ito po ang pagkakasabi po. Isaiah 65, verse 22 and 25. No longer will they build houses and others live in them, or plant and others eat. For as the days... Of a tree, so will be the days of my people. My chosen ones will will long enjoy the work of their hands. Verse twenty-five: The wolf and the lamb will feed together. The lion will eat straw like the ox, and the dust, no, will be the serpent's food. They will neither harm nor destroy on my on all my holy mountain, says the Lord. In other words, the lifespan during the time of the millennial kingdom, bo. E eh, babalik po ito doon sa tinatawag po at the beginning of time, before the flood, na pagkahaba-haba ng buhay. Diyan po, natalakay rin po natin yan. No? Maganda, panoorin nyo po. I highly suggest for you po, uh, to have a, a broad uh, or intensive study about this uh, Messianic Kingdom or Millennial Kingdom po na ito. Uh, we, we really cover a lot of studies what will happen during the Millennial Kingdom. I suggest you have watched that. That is a 15-part uh, studies po na para uh, study na para maintindihan po natin at maunawaan yung lahat-lahat ng yan. So, one thing that is guaranteed during the Millennial Kingdom is yung long life, no? Ang haba ng buhay po ng mga tao. Grabing haba. Sobrang haba po, no? Eh, pagka ikay namatay ng walang lapang 100, ibig sabihin nun, masama kang tao. Yun ang ibig po sabihin niya. Now, after that, nung tinatawag na resurrection of the wicked po na, then na-resurrect na sila. Resurrection will be followed by judgment. Yan ang susunod po ron. Yun ang mabigat po, no? Bakit ko po sinabi? Kahit si Solomon, sinulat po ito. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13 to 14. Ito po ang sabi niya pong ganon. Now, all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep His commandments. For this is the duty of all mankind. For God will be bring, for God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or Evil. O kita ninyo, ilalantad lahat yan ng ating Panginoon. And even Paul himself, no, emphasized the certainty of this judgment. In uh, Romans chapter 2 verse 16, ito ang sabi gano'n ni Pablo, no, Paul himself speaking, no, uh, this is, This will take place on the day, on the day when God judges people secret. Kailan? Through Jesus Christ. Ayan na, through Jesus Christ. God judges people secrets through Jesus Christ as my gospel declares. Yan ang sinasabi. And Romans chapter 14 verse 10 and 12. Ang sabi po ni Pablo, For we will all stand before the God's judgment seat. So then each of us will give an account of ourselves to God. God. Yan ang sinasabi. And even the writer of Hebrews, no, ito po ang pagkakabanggit po ng Hebrew writer, Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. Ang sabi po gano, paborito pa po ito ng iba or memorized verse pa po nila ito. And as it is appointed unto men uh, once to die, uh, but after this, after this, the judgment. Yan ang sinasabi po sa atin. So, concerning uh, this uh, inevitable uh, judgment po na ito, in what judgment will you stand before the Lord? Sa ang judgment po tayo tatayo sa harapan ng ating Panginoon. Mga ginigiliw kong kaibigan, I'm about to finish, no? And if you are a Christian, no? Ito po ang dapat, na nat dapat natin maintindi. If you are a Christian, do you know what spiritual gifts you have been given? Are you using them to advance the Lord's kingdom? Or is your motivation a love of the Lord? 
dapat ba intindihan po natin ng sagot niyan kung tayo po ay mananampalataya kaya kinakailangan magpagamit po kayo anumang kakayanan anumang abilidad ang ibinigay sa inyo ng Lord ipagamit niyo yan sa ating Panginoon gusto ng Lord na magmagamit niya po tayo now kung kayo naman ay hindi pa mananampalataya and if you have never believed and obeyed the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ no ito ang kinakailangan na maintindihan niyo do you really want to participate in the judgment of the damned Or do you realize that the Bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord? Na ang ibig po sabihin that even the most uh, cruel people who have ever lived on this planet, kahit po dito, eh, eh, and every vile person no, na, na, na nabuhay dito sa mundo po na ito, one day po, they will confess, tandaan po ninyo, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Kahit anong ayaw nyo dito sa mundo po na darating ng panahon, pag nakita nyo ng mukha ng Panginoon, you will say, you will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yan ang gusto ko pong linawin po sa inyo pong lahat. So napakahalaga po, no? tandaan po ninyo, at ang pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon na siyang ating inaantay po, na kinakailangan tayong lahat ay maniwala sa mabuting balita ng ating Panginoon. Sabi ng Hebrews chapter 9, verse 28, habang tayo nag-aantay sa pagbabalik ng Panginoon, karuntong yan ng 27, so Christ was sacrificed once to take away sins of many, and He will appear a second time not to bear sins, but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for Him. Take note of that. No? Malino po na sinasabi that He will appear the second time. But this time, sabi ng Bible, no? not to bear. No? Not to bear. Yan ang sabi po nga. Not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for Him. That is a very wonderful promise ng ating Panginoon para po sa atin. Tunay na napakabuti po ng ating Diyos na buhay. So purihin po ang ating Panginoon at harinawa sa ating mong lahat na narinito, naintindihan at naliwanagong po tayo sa paksa na siya ating pong tinalakay. No? And this coming week, God willing po, ay may tatalakayin po tayo. We will have this uh, parang Holy Week uh, trilogy special po natin. No? Sa inyo pong lahat na narinito, ako po'y nagpapasalamat sa pagsama po ninyo sa pag-aaral po natin ng salita ng Panginoon. Tayo po'y mananangin po sa pagtatapos po na uh, pag-aaral po natin ito. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat at uh, kami po'y tinuruan po ninyo. Harinawa, nagbuk, nabuksan ng aming puso, nabuksan ng aming kaisipan at naliwanagan kami sa katotohanan ng iyong banal na salita. Mapagpalang Ama, kayo na po ang siyang kumilo sa lahat ng nanonood, Panginoon. Kung merong man, Lord, gaguluhan na yan mong maliwanagan pa po sila sa pamamagitan ng aral mo po na ito. Salamat po at nais namin na kami mapabilang sa iyong pagbabalik. Nais namin mapasama po. We've been praying, Lord, that we may all be included, Lord, in this uh, rapture of the church. We wanted to be part of this rapture, of this event, Lord. Gusto po namin na mapabilang kami, Panginoon, sa mga raptured saints, Lord. Gawin mo kaming rapture ready, Lord, na mga mananampalataya. Kahit ihanda mo kami at magpagamit po kami sa paglilingkod sa iyong banal na harapan. Salamat po, Panginoon, pagpalay mong bawat isa at kayo na pong siyang kumilo sa tamanguna sa bawat isa po sa amin. And once again, Buli, sa iyo po namin, binabalik ang kapurian. Kayo na po magpala sa lahat. Higit lalo, dalangin ko kaligtasan ng maraming kaluluwa ang siya makakilala. Thank you so much. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen. So maraming maraming salamat po. So I am encouraging each one and every one of you to help us no? uh, to, to, uh, to spread this, uh, this good news, this, uh, this good word of our Lord, no? this very good uh, messages ng ating Panginoon na binibigay po sa atin by sharing and of course by uh, uh, by uh, sharing it with your loved ones with your friends no and don't forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel and uh, follow our official uh, uh, Facebook page po at uh, i-share niyo po yan sa ating po mga mahal sa buhay malaki po maitutulong at kayo po patuloy niyo balik-balikan at pag-aralan po maraming maraming salamat po i am uh, your servant uh, for today na nakasama po ninyo sa pag-aaral i am Pastor Alvin M Apostol saying Baruch Haba no Bashem Adonai thank you thank you so much po god bless you